Hollywood. We are back at our home park. And I've got the full, full family with me. Jen's back there. Jared's right here. Jess is back there. So today we are gonna go ride Big Bear Mountain. It's finally open to the regular public. This will be the kids' first time riding. Also the wife's first time riding. So we'll get their reactions, let you know what we think from the new family coaster here at Dollywood. Plus we're gonna try some food, catch a show, ride some other rides. Who knows what we'll do? You guys ready? Let's go do this. So as you come into the park, if the first thing you want to hit is Big Bear Mountain, go through the turnstiles and turn to your left. Go through Timber Canyon. You'll come up this way. You'll come up by Thunderhead. Then you'll go on up by Mystery Mine. Take that hard left-hand turn back up into Wildwood Grove. We'll show you that when we get up there. So you think a lot of people are interested in riding Big Bear Mountain? This is at about 9.50 a.m. And this is the line just to get up to Wildwood Grove. Park is technically not even open yet. We are now into Wildwood Grove and there's just a mass of people headed towards Big Bear Mountain. So I'm gonna say by the time we get here, we're gonna have a 20 to 30 minute wait. Roughly, we'll see. We are now up near the treetop tower. This is about as far out as Big Bear Mountain goes. You can see Big Bear Mountain right there. This is the waterfall area. You pass under the waterfall coming from left to right. And you go out, go back across the top of the waterfall, going right to left. We've now made it up to the top. You can see right here is the Mad Mockingbirds and uh, part of the Dragonfly. And they're holding this queue outside for now. They've not released this to go in. And we are now going into the Big Bear Mountain portion of the queue. So here it is. Looks like they are still running some test trains. They've not got anybody on the trains yet, but <coughs> there it is. So what do you think? Are you excited to ride Big Bear Mountain? Yeah. What do you think? On a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think it's going to be? Um, 9. A 9? Yeah. Jessa, what do you think? A 10. You think it's going to be a 10? Yeah. You think it's going to be better than uh, Fire Chaser Express? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Jareth, what do you think? You think it's going to be better than Fire Chaser Express? Yeah. All right. It looks like they are using the full queue today. This is the first time I've been uh, able to see the entire queue. So we're going to walk you through it as we go here. Show you the full queue. The last time we were here, we came up and we immediately went this way to the right. It looks like we're going to get to go over to the left in the extended queue today. So this is the first building you go into as part of the extended queue. This is the Big Bear Search Today building. There are two fans inside this building to kind of help keep some air moving, keep it cool. It is covered, which is nice. They've done a, yeah. They've done a really good job with the decor in this one. They really spent some time on actually uh, make, giving you something to look at while you're waiting in line. That's been one of the complaints about Dollywood for, well, a long time, but there's really nothing to look at inside the queue. But this one, they've done a really, really good job through the entire queue of letting you look at things uh, that pertain to the ride itself. So that's, uh, that's really cool. Now we are now out of that, headed over into the second building. You can see the track right there. You walk right by it. This is uh, right as you come out of the initial launch. It looks like we might get to hear one. Here it comes. There it goes. All right, so we are now over into the second queue. Second queue building. Yeah. 
So from here, I'm going to say it's probably going to be a 20 to 30 minute wait is my guess. We'll find out. Let's see. What time is it? It is currently 10.13, so we will see how long it takes us to get from this point right here. We stopped about midway through the second building of the queue. There's the Big Bear sightings board that is inside this second queue building. Oh yeah, they've got some stuff over here, stuff over here. It is now 10.20 a.m. So it took us seven minutes to get inside the second queue building. We just walked inside of it. You can see it right there above me. So we'll kind of keep you updated. That way you guys have a good idea of you know what part you are in line, how long it's going to be uh, before you get actually onto the coaster. You see all the honey? This is inside the second queue building. No, excuse me. This is inside the third queue building. We have now exited the third queue building and on our way up to the main portion and it is uh, 1029. So we started at uh, 1013, halfway through the second uh, queue building. We were out of the third queue building and almost there, probably another, another 15 minutes or so. Uh, not bad. So this here, this building here that you see, this is the train station. This is where the launches are, first of three launches. This is where you get in. Now, if you do have bags with you, they have QB, uh, QBs. They have cubbies up there for you to put your bags in, uh, from fanny packs to bags like Jen's lounge fly bag. They'll fit. They do have lockers back at the beginning. Uh, if you have bigger bags and you want to stick in a locker, they have those back there. But this is the actual launch building here. This is the train station where you get going we're we're getting there we're almost there this line just goes down this way and then turns and then we're basically there welcome back adventures so it is 10 38 so 10 13 is when we started 10 38 we made it into the building and about to board So that was their very first ride ever on Big Bear Mountain. What'd you guys think? Good. Did you love it? Yes. Yeah? Jessa, what'd you think about it? Awesome. It was awesome. Anything else? What was your favorite part? Probably when you go underground at the end. When you go underground at the end? Oh, you go up the big hill? Yeah. All right. All right, so there you go. So on a scale of one to 10, what is it? 10. A 10? Yes. 
Yeah. Still a 10, Jessa? Yeah. All right, they gave it a 10. But my real number is 100. A 100 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> the best ever. So that was Jen's first ride as well on Big Bear Mountain. Jen, what'd you think? I loved it. It's very fun. The dips and curves are really good. The G-Force kicks in. With the launches, it's, I loved it. I think it's a great family coaster. It's it is. scary enough for little ones, but not enough to scare them from not riding a, another roller coaster. Yeah. It's a good first roller coaster. Yeah, real good thrill ride here. Again, it's got a 39-inch a hot requirement which means it will let a lot of younger smaller kids on the coaster mm -hmm. and uh, Jessa rode it and she's only what 40 48, 48 inches yeah and uh, so of course Jareth rode it but yeah this is such a good coaster it is it's fun this is the queue just waiting to get on to the ride So that was Big Bear Mountain. Again, that is my, I think, fourth or fifth time riding it. Such a good coaster. Uh, really a great family coaster. Um, for what it is, man, it is it is a great addition here to Dollywood. Uh, it, it, will be, it will be a great addition for years to come. And I really think it's really gonna help lower a lot of the wait times around the park, uh, especially for stuff like Fire Chaser Express. I do wish though that Dollywood would put in a test seat. They still do not have a test seat out. And um, I know that has been one of the biggest questions I have been asked several times is about the test seat and how you fit. I fit in it no issue. Uh, I am uh, 5 foot 10, 273 pounds this morning, wear a size 40 jeans and a 2X shirt, but I, I, fit, I fit just fine in it. Uh, so uh, if you're concerned about it, you know, um, I would say come get in line and check it out, but it, it's very accommodating seats, so for what it's worth. So we were talking about that test seat and how we wish that Dollywood would install one. I gave you guys my size and measurements, and uh, Jen said she's going to do the same thing, so we're going to let her tell you about uh, how she fit in the coaster and all that. Depending on brand of clothes, I'm between a size 18 to 20, and um, I fit just fine. I have thick thighs and a larger rear end less in the chest area um the leg restraint was a little snug on my legs that you need to try it because your legs are going to be shaped differently than my legs and it's definitely worth the try yep it is i mean if there's an hour and a half wait maybe not worth the try if it doesn't fit but like i said i'm i'm bottom heavy and i was able to fit just fine yeah and the way that the restraint works is it actually pulls down between your legs yes so it does um, separate your legs and then there's like pads on each side so if your legs don't fit in that, then you won't be able to ride, even if your butt fits in the seat, because it has to slide in between your legs a little bit to secure you. Yep. Yeah. So, there you go. That's, uh, that's... But I fit comfortably. Yeah. I fit comfortably. I wasn't... I wasn't... My legs aren't going to be bruised. I wasn't banged up. So, it's just a guide for you guys. I honestly think that it may be the most accommodating ride here at Dollywood yeah. for it's people that are, that are plus too. size. I mean, it's... So if you have people of all ages in your group, it's a very smooth ride. There are some heavy G-force areas, but the ride itself is very smooth. Yep, agreed. Yeah. So there you go, that's our point of view. And uh, Dollywood, please, test seat. Yeah, test seat. Test seats, test seats, <laughs> thanks. We're gonna check and see if maybe they've got any new Big Bear Mountain merch. I don't see any new stuff, but good looking t-shirt there. I uh, recently acquired this t-shirt here. Yeah, coffee mugs. Oh, this might be new. I don't remember seeing this before. It's a coaster cutout. 34.99. I like that. It's kind of like putting a Lego together, but it's all wood. I think that's all the new stuff that they've got here for Big Bear Mountain. We have four. We just got off the Great Tree Swing. I've not rode that one this year. That's the first time that we uh, that I've rode it this year. I believe the kids have rode it, but I have not rode it. Jareth really likes that one, don't you, bud? Yeah. I 
Why do you like that one? It's because that it's, it's like on like the, um, the highest part of the ship that, that, that you can go the highest. Ah, okay. So you like how it throws you up in the air? Yeah. Jen, what do you think about the uh, the old uh, great tree swing back there? I don't mind it. I, it's fun. It's one of those takes your belly away from you kind of rides. I like it. It is. It just doesn't make an office. Yeah, Jess, I don't like that one. But we made her ride it anyway. <laughs> walking through the lodge area and just realized that the food trucks are gone. Normally there are two food trucks sitting right here, but they are gone. So let's see what they've done with the stand that you ordered your food from. It's back open as the doghouse. So food trucks are gone, the doghouse is back open. We are now headed up to jump on the Fire Chaser Express. It has about a 40 minute wait or so. Another good family coaster here at Dollywood. Now like most of the roller coasters here at Dollywood, this one does have a test seat. That's it right there. This is the berry funnel cake. We got this one from up near um, Fire Chaser Express. It's got just a small funnel cake with uh, it's a whipped cream. It's got some berries, an edible flower, and a drizzle honey on it. Kids have one over there that they have already started devouring. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> is it yes. good? Yes. Yeah. How's the funnel cake, Jen? It's funnily. It's funnily. It's, no, it's, it's really good. So they have four different funnel cakes for all four seasons. And I do remember last year I was thinking this was one of the better ones yeah. that they had. Yeah, we like this one a lot. There was one in the fall that like just didn't... I can't remember what was on it, but it didn't have a lot of flavor on it. I think it had like walnuts or something yeah, on it. it was like walnuts and pralines or something. Yeah, like something like that. Good. Yeah. This didn't care good. for it. This is refreshing. It's light. So if you want yeah, a sweet treat that's light. I think the light. berries and the honey on it make it, give it a little extra flavor and give it uh, a, a light sort of springy, refreshing thing like she's talking about. Mm -hmm. So the kids have pretty much ate all theirs. Good? Yeah. Would you like to have another one? Yeah. Alright, maybe next time. We are up near the games at the Tennessee Tornado. And I see a Rhino with a Dollywood shirt on. I believe those are new. New games up near the Tennessee Tornado. Actually not new games, new prizes. New prizes at the games. There are some more prizes. Dinosaurs, chickens, llamas, turkeys, ostriches, all kinds of crazy stuff. Also, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but they do airbrush here. This is on the back side of Blazing Fury. Blazing Fury, yeah. Thanks, Jareth. My mom went blank there for a second. It's on the back side of the Blazing Fury. Also, I wanted to say I appreciate you guys watching and liking and commenting. 
do me a favor make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know that when I put a new video out it'll alert you and tell you so make sure you hit that little red subscribe button right down there I appreciate it thank you it is a pretty heavy day here in the park um, most of the rides are 25 30 minutes up to an hour hour and a half we just walked by the blazing fury and it was a 25 minute wait uh, usually it's a walk on to five minutes normally and it's 25 minutes today so I know we checked uh, the lightning rod earlier it was a 90 minute wait uh, Big Bear Mountain of course it's new it's a 90 minute wait um, so yeah most of the things here today are all the roller coasters are gonna be 30 minutes plus so busy day here at the park so we're gonna hit Daredevil Falls next Here we are at Daredevil Falls. Does not look like it is much of a wait at all. So that's nice. Oh yeah, it's basically a walk-on. Nice. That's always a good ride. We always enjoy the, uh, the Lost River Lumber Company there. I think I'm putting a t-shirt out for Lost River Lumber Company. We'll see. Maybe. We are going to stop into the Squishimals store. Or as it looks from the outside, the Cozy Bear Cove. See if they've got any new Squishimals. So these things are so hot that uh, they're just going to keep them in here. And probably until they cool off, I guess. So let's go inside. Check it out. Is that a mushroom? What is that? Yeah. I, um, it's it's like you drink. It's like um. I believe these are new. These are uh, animals dressed as fruit. Hug a melon. Here is something else that is new. These are called stackables. They're little flat guys that you can stack up on top of each other. We are going to eat lunch at the Front Porch Cafe. Cafe. Both the kids got hot dogs. They come with fries and a cookie. And Jen and I got the exact same thing. This is the chopped harvest salad. Looks like it's got uh, walnuts, bacon, cheese, On romaine lettuce, is that romaine lettuce and cranberries, apple slices. apple slices. Looks really good. Let's give it a try. Here we go. dressing on but yeah it's um it's a good salad I'll give it a an 
eight for salads. Good salad. All right, guys, that is going to do it from Dollywood today. We ended up going back and riding uh, Big Bear Mountain a second time. We went, we basically waited through all three Q stations. It said it was a 70 minute wait, and we figure it was actually about a 50 minute wait. Wasn't quite 70, wouldn't you think, Jen? Yeah. It's about 50 minutes. Yeah, so about 50. We, um, that, that Q moves consistently. Yeah, that it, is a. It stays at a good steady pace. Yeah, it's an interesting thing about that queue. It's not stop and go. It, you're just walking all the time. Um, it's I mean, slowly, but yeah, it's a slow walk. But you are walking the entire time. It's uh, there's no unless the ride breaks down. There's just not much uh, time to stop and rest there in those queues. So, which is a good thing, I think. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We enjoyed making it, and remember, life's hard enough. Keep it amusing. We'll see you guys next time.